night mode, night sight, bright night, whatever you call it, this camera mode now available on a ton of smartphones allows you to take photos in much darker environments while still getting an image that is very much usable when done. But what exactly is night mode? And what type of sorcery does it use to help your phone see in the dark? Well, in this episode of Decoder, where I try to explain a new piece of technology each week, let's dive into the tech behind night mode, as well as how it can help your phone take better photos. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. We'll talk more about them in a bit, but first, the term night mode is a catch-all name for the feature, most likely due to the fact that Huawei called it that when they popularized it first on the P20 Pro, where it's just called night in the camera modes. Other manufacturers had different names sometimes though. Samsung and the iPhone both also call it night mode, but LG calls it night view, the Pixel calls it night sight, OnePlus calls it Nightscape, and even less expensive phones have it in some form or another like TCL Plex's Super Night and the Nokia 7.2's Night Mode, etc. Now, thanks to differences in the camera hardware along with the software each manufacturer is using, they're not all created equally. But the technology behind them is all roughly the same. The way it works is that it's a modified version of a technology that we've had in phones for a while now called HDR or High Dynamic Range Imaging. Not to be confused with the HDR display technology that you hear about in TVs, monitors, Netflix has an icon for and the like, as that's different. Maybe we'll do an episode on that one day as well. What HDR imaging, and in turn night mode does though, is it essentially takes a bunch of photos, all of varying exposure levels. Exposure being the length of time the sensor is exposed to light, with the shorter that time, the darker the image, and the longer, the brighter. After it has those images, it uses software to determine the various parts of the image and what exposure each of those parts needs to be. Then it uses those chunks essentially from each of the images at different exposure levels to combine them all together to create a much more overall balanced image. Now, depending on the phone and the software the manufacturer has created, the amount of time for those longer exposure shots in this collection of images can be as long as 30 seconds and can either be manually set using the on-screen controls or is automatically decided by the phone based on the available light and its own algorithms. The phone actually goes even a step beyond all this already impressive stuff by also having to compensate for something that long exposure photos really don't like, movement. Whenever you take a long exposure shot, any object or person that moves through the image will cause blurs or streaks through the image. Likewise, if the camera itself moves even in the slightest way, that will also cause streaks and blurs in the final image. The longer the exposure, the more pronounced those streaks. And if you've ever seen light painting images or night sky shots like these on the internet, they use extremely long exposure times in order to purposely capture those streaks for artistic reasons instead. Now, the way manufacturers have gotten around the nuisance of movement is by using their own clever AI algorithms while the image is being taken to negate these things. So for people or objects moving through the image, the software just identifies anything in the image that seems to move location within the shot over multiple frames, and then it just tries to ignore that object and not put it in the final image. To counteract the phone's movement, the software can use the accelerometer in the phone along with the image itself to determine how shaky your hand is, and then grab the same image over and over for the exposures, and again, line them up for the final photo. Now really quick, what if you use this night mode and take a bunch of photos that you think look really great, but you're not really sure where to display them? Well, you could always make a website using Squarespace. They have all the tools you'll need to build any type of website, including a photo portfolio of shots taken exclusively in night mode, if that's your thing. It's easy to use. You can get your very own domain directly from them. There's no coding required, and they have professionally made templates to help your site stand out. So. Head to the link below for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, if you use that link, you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And there you go, guys. Night mode, how it works, etc. Now, some manufacturers actually have taken this to even more extremes, like Google with the Pixel and its Astro mode, but we won't get into that here. If you do want to check out more information on that, I'll leave a link to my buddy David Amell's video over on Android Authority. You can click that link and check that out. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this video. Also, if you guys have another topic you'd like to see me decode here on this show, let me know about that in the comments as well. If you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. Greatly appreciate it. Also, check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next to subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.